I'm Reen Wilcoxon, founder of Embroidery Garden and co-developer of In The Hoop Designer Software. In this project tutorial, I'll show you how to create a stuffed bunny using our software. To create the bunny file, I use the built-in shape. In the upper left corner, you can click on Shapes. I drop down to Holidays and Occasions, chose Easter, and use the chocolate bunny. Once the bunny is on the screen, you can resize it a few different ways. You can go over to the transform icon in the upper right, and you can type in the size you want it to be and hit apply. You could also grab one of the corners, the nodes, and stretch it out to the size you want it to be. The size is shown up here along the top of the screen. If you're not familiar with your hoops, you can go to the left hand side and click on select a hoop and choose from one of the hoops listed here. Click OK and then you can see your hoop is on the screen. You can make sure that it fits the hoop you want, it, want to use. I'm not going to use the hoop so I'm just going to get rid of it. And at this point I've got my bunny sized, the size that I want him to be. Right now he is artwork, he is not stitches and I need to create the opening so that I can turn my bunny. I am going to select the bunny and then in the upper left I'm going to click the new eraser tool and the most obvious place to create an opening to turn and stuff the bunny is here along the bottom. So I'm just going to erase a little bit and then there's my opening. I'm going to select the bunny and let's go over to the sequence window I'm going to click on the little plus and you can see that the bunny is artwork right now. He is not stitches. So let's go ahead and select it and turn it into stitches by just right clicking, convert to, and I'll convert to a run. And then the properties window opens on the left. And I like my final stitching to be a bean stitch. I'm going to leave it at a 3.0 and hit apply. So now my bunny is stitching. I am going to change the color by coming down to the color palette at the bottom of the screen and choosing one of the colors. So there's the outline of my bunny. Now I'm going to go and create that ear separation that I had on my final bunny design. I went up to the drawing tools at the top of the screen, chose the pen, and I'm going to start drawing it right between the two ears at the top and I'm just clicking and drawing a line. When you are done drawing the line, you can right click to end it. You can come over to the left hand side, get the shape tool, and you can move any of the nodes that you want, reshape it however you want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select it because I'm happy with that. And I'm going to turn this into a steel stitch, which is basically a satin stitch. So up at the top, I can click on the steel icon. It opens up the properties window on the right. Under width, I am going to bump it up to a 4.0 because I wanted it to be a little bit more pronounced and click OK. I am going to change the color by right clicking on one of the colors in my color palette. The next thing that I did was I created an applique here on this ear. I'm going to go back up to the drawing tools and this time I'm going to choose ellipse and I'm just going to draw an oval. Select it, move it over to where I'm going to be placing it, rotate it, resize it, get it looking exactly how I want it to be. You can play around with it as much as you want. And I am going to come down to the color palette at the bottom and change colors. Again, right now, I just drew this so it is artwork. You can see that over on the right hand side. I'm going to select it and I made this an applique. So up at the top menu, I can click on that little green fabric and choose applique. And it turned it into an applique as easy as that. It opens up the applique properties. You can see it's a satin stitch. The applique width, I am going to bump it up to four just because I like that uh, size. I'm going to put a check mark in front of change colors so that I get my 
placement, tack down, and the final satin stitch going around. Hit apply, and there is my ear. If you don't like what you did, you still can change it and move it around however you want it to be. The last thing I did was I added an eye and I borrowed it from one of the built-in designs. So I'm gonna go up to the design um, icon and you see you have all kinds of designs that you can use. A lot of the little animals and birds have eyes in them. So I'm gonna borrow one from the bees, birds and butterflies category. And this is the one that I used. I'm gonna open it up. You can see that it's grouped. I'm gonna enlarge it a little bit just so we can see that I'm going to be taking this um, white part of the eye there. In the sequence window, I can open it up. Um, I am going to select it. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm going to ungroup it. I'm gonna select all of the parts that I do not want. And I'm going to hit the delete key and I'm left with the eye. I'm gonna enlarge it just so I can work with it a little bit better. Move it over to where I want it to be. I'm gonna change the color to black and now I'm gonna size it. I rotated it a little bit. And again, play with it and get it the way that you want it to look. And when you're done, you can still go back and change anything that you wanna change. Kind of think this needs to be a little bit curved out more. But again, you can play with it as much as you want. If we go over into the uh, sequence window over on the right hand side you can see the bunny outline stitches first we actually need that to stitch last so I'm going to right click on it come down to order and then I'm going to click to front and you can see that puts it last you should always check your sewing sequence before saving your design so once it's selected, I'm going to go up to the slow redraw and let's watch it stitch. So the first, first thing it's gonna stitch is that ear separation. Then we have our placement, tack down, and then it's gonna do the satin stitch around the ear. Here comes the eye. And then here is the final outline. And that is exactly how I created the bunny. I stitched my bunny file out in two different ways. It's the same file, but I ended up with two completely different looks. The first version, I used a knit fabric and it has a finished seam. The second version, I used cotton fabric and you can see that it has an exposed seam. Let's see how I stitched both of these out using the same file. To stitch this version of the bunny, I hooped a piece of no-show cutaway stabilizer and I used a piece of knit fabric. This is Cuddle 3. It has stretch and it also has a nap. When I placed it on top of the hoop stabilizer, I made sure that the stretch was going across the hoop and that the nap was going down. I used a piece of plastic type of water soluble stabilizer, laid it over the area that was being embroidered, embroidered the ear separation line, the ear applique, and the eye. That was then pulled off and removed, and then the second piece of the same type of fabric was placed right side down over top, again with the stretch going across and making sure the nap was going down. The outline was stitched, the bunny was removed from the hoop, it was trimmed all the way around about a quarter of an inch from the stitching. Clip into all the curves to make sure that the fabric relaxes and turns nicely. Turn it to the right side and stuff it. The opening down here was hand stitched closed. I added a bow and hot glued a pom-pom on for the tail. For the version of the bunny with the exposed seams, I created my own fabric. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna show you how I did it with the scraps I had left over. I had several jelly roll strips 
they were long strips that I sewed together in rows. Then I subcut these rows into two and a half inch strips, and then I sewed those together to create my own patchwork fabric. I took my fabric that was large enough for my bunny to stitch on. I put a piece of thin batting behind it, put it on top of hooped cutaway stabilizer, and I used a quilting file from my machine to quilt it. You could also quilt it with your regular sewing machine if you wanted to. Then to stitch this file out, again, it's the exact same file as the other bunny. I hooped the cutaway stabilizer, the no-show. I had my prepared fabric on top. I stitched the ear separation, the ear applique, and the eye. This time, I turned the hoop to the back side and I placed another piece of fabric on the back side of the hoop with the right side facing up. For the back side of the bunny, I didn't quilt the fabric, I just left it plain. I could have quilted it, but I chose not to. With this on the back side of the hoop, the outline stitched and it left the opening here. I removed it from the hoop. I trimmed close to the stitching all around. I used pinking shears. You could have used regular scissors. It was stuffed. And then I took it to my sewing machine and I machine sewed the opening closed using the same thread that I used to stitch around the bunny with. So I got two different looks with the exact same file. How fun is that? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and use what you learned to create your own stuffed bunny or other project. Please take photos of your creations made using In The Hoop Designer software and post them on social media. Use the hashtag ITHDesigner.